And now I just wanted to transition a little bit to the study examining insulin and glucagon co-administration. Um, this is something that a lot of people are probably unfamiliar with, and it's a territory that a lot of people are skeptical about. What did this study tell us about it, and what can what would you like clinicians to keep in mind when interpreting the results of this study? Yeah, when you look at both it, uh, glucagon, glucagon is used as a rescue for low blood sugar, and people think that's all it's need. And insulin is used to control glucose, but when you use insulin only, you can't prevent hypoglycemia. And so the islet cells itself. Uh, when you eat, they, they both release both insulin and glucagon, and they, and they release in a certain molar um, ratio. And so, and so there's been work from Alan Charrington and his group at Vanderbilt in dog work has shown that when you uh, give dogs and have them eat, they're, um, uh, what happens is that insulin will, will prevent hyperglycemia, and glucagon in the same infusion will prevent hypoglycemia, but nobody's ever done it in humans before. So this was a, uh, this was a protocol, just a proof, proof of concept. Can, can we infuse both um, insulin and glucagon in the same infusion um, with a meal? And so in this case, we're we're uh, three quarters of the way through. We have 11 patients finished. We have another four to six we're gonna do. And we have a, uh, what we did is we brought these people with type one. They had fairly long standing type one. We brought him in overnight on a clinical research group. We, we clamped him to 100. So in the morning, we, we would have no, no background insulin because they're all on IV insulin. And then, then we infuse initially a, um, a um, we initially infuse a, um, a meal dose using IV insulin going up, purposely trying to get that what m most people do, they go up to 200 and they come back down to goal. And, but in this case, we gave one and a half times the amount of insulin trying to show that if you, if you wanna control glucose and be aggressive, uh, as many people are, and then and then they get low, you know, three four hours later. We we wanted to duplicate that, and so we initially gave them insulin only, and then and then uh, a week later we brought him in with the same, gave the same meal dose, and but then at the same time we we're infusing glucagon at the same with a certain ratio, and we showed that when you give glucagon, it doesn't raise glucose at all it only prevents hypoglycemia and where insulin insulin is able to to uh, prevent the hyperglycemia and glucagon was able to totally prevent hypoglycemia so where we are changing the ratio slightly because we did have two people in the glucagon arm that that got below 70 but but the only thing they had to do is take uh, a glucose tablets and they went up where the ones who were on insulin only, we had to give them dextrose IV to bring them back up. So, so this is a proof of concept in that this is very, very important study because nobody's ever done this before in that you can potentially give somebody insulin and glucagon in the same infusion with a certain ratio and that you can totally prevent hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. And this might be a big game changer uh, because now we have ability to have liquid glucagon that is out there, which, which we haven't had. And so obviously this is a major step forward for future management of type one diabetes.